Ready to shell out more cash, home insurance premiums are spiking again, and it comes as insurance companies are dropping thousands of Florida homeowners. New at 6 here tonight, ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbach is here with what is causing this shakeup. Sarah. Paul, two big things, very destructive hurricanes and a record number of claims wreaking havoc on Florida's insurance industry. And although we already pay among the highest rates in the country, it could be get, getting even higher this upcoming year. Lights on the dock. Linda and Ron Ramasanto love getting ready for the holidays, but December always brings an unexpected surprise. My bill is due December 23rd every year. <laughs> and it's not good. Their homeowner's insurance bill more than tripling in the 33 years they've lived in Treasure Island. It's shocking, it really is. Between Hurricane Irma last year and Hurricane Michael this year, Florida insurers have processed $15 billion in claims, according to Florida's Office of Insurance Regulation. That, combined with skyrocketing water damage claims, has some of Florida's largest insurance companies shedding customers. Those are the biggest payouts in Florida. Independent insurance agent Jeff DeKnight says even if you haven't received a cancellation notice, you can expect to pay more in the coming year. This year we're seeing anywhere between 7 and 12 percent rate increases amongst all of the companies. DeKnight says investing in a new roof or hurricane upgrades can help, but combing through your policy line by line is an easy way to save hundreds. Maybe you don't want to insure your couch, your bed, your appliances at full replacement costs insure them at actual cash value. The Ramasantos are watching their spending a little closer. Every year it just keeps going up and up. And get this, with those expected increases in 2019, we could soon be paying double the national average right here in Florida. Reporting live in Treasure Island, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.